Hey, Jake. Hello. Yes, Jim, I am slow tonight. So sorry. <laughs> Jim is communicating with my mother so she can get this link. And uh, it is um, <clears throat> his little commentary. Anyway, hey, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi, Miss Dolores. Miss Dolores, did that um, backpack work out for you? I hope so, for teaching swim classes, which is totally cool that you do. I know somebody. So guys, if you need to go to a swim class, we have a great instructor. She's a consigner in our shop. Woohoo! And you could go to her class. Hey, Miss Teresa. Hello. And Charlene. Hey, how are you? Haven't had you online in a while. Hope everything is okie dokie. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, guys, because I'm a little farther away. Okay. If you haven't noticed, I'm at my house. Yep, I'm at my house. You're going to be listening to my birds because I'm closer to them tonight. Hey, Miss Kathy. Um, how are you, Catherine Lombard Thomas? Hello. Hey, Miss Charlene. Hello, Miss Dolores again. I think you guys pop on and pop off. Anyway, we do the same thing with uh, the um, video I watch every night. I'm a slacker. Thanks, Jim. You're so awesome. It's like having a heckler. I have my own heckler. This is awesome. And I do know that he's laughing at the fact that I just Boris. call myself a heckler. Why are you calling Boris? He's right here. I don't know. Ryan is calling my dog. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, first and foremost, hope nobody's melting in this insane hot weather. How does anybody live in Arizona? I do not understand. My car tonight, when I was driving home at 3, said 102 and I do not like 102. I don't care if you call it a dry heat, it is still hot. That's my opinion. Um, and it's flag day. Hope you guys had a nice flag day. Maybe some of you recognize that date. I do not know. You put your flag out. I don't have a flag to put out, but we have it. That's kind of funny. You just saw the tail of my dog. Anyway, Jake's underneath my chair and Boris is just wandering around. Um, <clears throat> radio said 105. Blah. 105, Teresa. How do we do this? Ugh. I know if you were in Michigan and they get up to 90 and they're all dying because they have humidity. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's 105. Okay, <clears throat> so tonight is June 14th and it's Monday night and this is when we do twilight shopping. And I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but one, I'm doing them at home because I do not want to go back out in that heat. Um, and uh, Ryan and I have been messing with, hey, Miss Vicky. Nice to see you. Vicky. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, to think we left Florida. Oh, my gosh. Um, Ryan doesn't realize that you're watching. Um, Vicky is my sister-in-law. I was grateful it was a semi-overcast. That is true. I actually got a rain report on my phone that said it might rain in a few minutes. And then I laughed hyster hysterically thinking it's not going to rain. Hey, Ms. Liz Lisa, how are you? So guys, welcome my sister-in-law from Florida. Yay, Vicky's on, that's so cool. That's my dog, uh, big one. <clears throat> He's confused because I'm sitting at the dining room table. Hey, Miss Chris, uh, Miss Chris, I think we see you tomorrow for a drop off maybe, I'm not sure. Anywho, it's July. Hey, and Dahlia's on. We have a whole party going on. Ladies, oh my gosh, one day we actually have to have everybody in the shop. That'd be so cool. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, we're going to do some stuff that we do from, and A is on here. And, and, and. If you guys ever have Siri dictate your messages, like I'm driving and I'm hands free so I can dictate to my car. Tammy and I do this a lot. One, it thinks I mumble all the time, which, <laughs> how could I mumble? Anyway, <laughs> whenever I say and, it goes, ah. So anyway, um, <clears throat> okay. We do home visits. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. We do home visits for people who are moving and realize they have a lot of stuff that they cannot move or don't want to move. Uh, we do home visits for people who are handling estates. Um, we do home visits for people who are just like purging. Uh, they've got like a room filled with stuff and they're not sure what to do with it. Um, they change their mind on how they want to decorate their house, blah, blah. Okay, so when I'm at home, I typically am doing the pricing for some of these home visits. And I bring stuff home because we have no room in the shop for it. Or 
and or I should say, um, I can do it at home, sitting on my couch or in my living room or where the music's playing and I'm not at the shop. You wouldn't believe how many people are trying to come into the shop the days were closed. Yeah, we could be open more days, but the four of us ladies would pass out from exhaustion because we can't be there all these days. Anyway, um, and my accountant would flip out if I had more employees. <laughs> so she'd go, no more. Anyway, um, so we take some days off and uh, close the shop on Mondays and Ann and I work half a day. Um, sometimes Melissa and Claire have to come in too to catch up. Um, but uh, we do uh, estates and home visits and we have all these collections pretty soon. I know I said this out loud to uh, Melissa and Claire and Ann and they about smacked me in the head when I said, oh, we get to start pricing Christmas soon. And they were all like, egads, shush. So um, we still have a lot of estates. I have two tonight. One, we did a quick little run over today because their, um, the sisters were all in town and they got to work on some of it and go through some of it. And it's all the little small stuff now. It's not like the big furniture, it's all the big little stuff. So I have some purses from them, just a handful because I wanna show you what's coming in. Um, and we have shoes from somebody who is physically moving out of state and she needs to clean out hers and we've been doing some of hers. So last Monday we did travel bags, which were a big hit. We had 11 of them. We sold six within two days. Um, that was pretty cool. We still have a couple left at the shop if you're interested. Look online, all their photographs are online and uh, you can come test out the wheels or whatever in the shop. From that same place, we have some sandals. Now they're all roughly around the same size, but when you look at them, you're gonna sit there and go, really? I don't think so. Anyway, um, <clears throat> one of the things we always tell people when they're shopping at our store is try stuff on, or at least measure it or something, because a vintage size six is really like a size zero now. And if you buy something in Chico size three, uh, that supposedly is like up to 3x, which is not going to happen. Um, size 3 could be like a 2x, sometimes an XL. It just depends. Some of us are not me, big chested. I am totally not there. Or, you know, larger re rears or longer legs or shorter arms or bigger, longer torsos, blah, blah. Hey, Miss Carol, thanks for joining us. We are having a party tonight. There are a lot of nice ladies on here. Um, anyway. So, I'm going to show you shoes first. It's just a sampling. We are getting shoes in. If any of you are consigning with me and have upcoming appointments, if you want summer sandals put in, you've got to do it now. Um, because pretty soon we're going to school stuff. Yes, we get a school season this year. And teachers and students will be back in the classroom. And that includes all the administration and everybody else. So people are going to be buying some stuff. So shoes will be a thing, I think. They haven't been popular lately when you're running around your house and your house slippers. But they will now. And Vicky's on here. Hey, Miss Vicky Shaw. You are up in Montana, Wyoming. I always get this wrong. You're up north. And my sister-in-law is in Florida, and her name's Vicky. Okay, <clears throat> uh, let's go. So the sandals we have are generally this woman wears a size eight. She has a, a thin foot or a slender foot. And she notices that she cannot wear the same size shoe in every style because they change in the way they fit her foot. So these shoes are all coming to us because she can't wear them anymore and because they just don't fit. And um, I'm gonna show you a variety and technically they all should be like around size eight, but we have eight narrow, we have eight and a half, we have eights and we have one pair of seven and a halfs that she all tried on. Okay, so <clears throat> we have some bass sandals, right? very basic it's a flat it's super comfy and flexible and these have the leather straps now this is an eight narrow to me that looks like an eight narrow okay um of course you have to remember that leather straps are going to stretch just have to remember that the nice thing about this shoe is it not slick rubber on the bottom it is actually a suede material so that would keep your foot from sliding that's even better this shoe is supposedly an eight narrow as well this shoe to me with a square foot just seems a lot wider than this shoe okay so you gotta try stuff on because i could actually possibly put that in and i typically wear a wide shoe who knows okay anyway these are bass these are your everyday flip-flops type sandals they're gonna be out most of our shoes are under 20 bucks okay there's a few out there on the floor right now that 
I started off as $300 shoes and they're probably about 38 right now. Um, in the winter we get Uggs, we get some of the other boots like um, Ariat's, those will be higher price, but right now we're trying to keep everything under 20 bucks. Even some, most are like 10, 15. Okay, these are Easy Streets. These are super cute, great color. I can never find this color in my size, but this is eight narrow. I don't believe them. So a pair like this will probably be about $12, okay? And these don't look like she ever used them because the stickers are all still in the bottom. Um, it was hysterical. I saw a movie where they made fun of the person because I could tell she still had new shoes because she had the sticker on the bottom. I don't think I ever remember to take them off. Miss Tammy's watching and she's traveling. We missed Tammy this weekend. She and I did not get to hang out. She went to see her dad who is in Washington, the state, not the city, and uh, had a nice weekend. It was, she meet, missed all 100 degree weather. Okay, so we have eight and a half shoes. And I do think there's a difference between one with lots of straps that skin, looks skinny. I mean, it just looks tiny. Okay, and this is just a slide. This is truly just a slide, even though it has all these lovely straps, okay? It's such just a slide on, kind of like a mule, but just strappy. But these are great orange, awesome orange. It says eight and a half and only has like maybe three fourths inch heel, kind of nice. Um, these on the other hand are eight and a half as well. But they look so much wider. I guess because you could have technically a wider foot. Anyway, they're kind of in a goldy bronze. My lighting kind of stinks. And I love this little applique. But the nice thing about these is they do have a back heel um, strap. I don't know what it is anymore. I can't seem to stay in a pair of shoes unless they have a back heel strap and then I walk right at them. But I try. That's about one inch heel, but it's all wedge. It'd be super nice. And these are aerosols and the other ones are Madeline Stewart's, which are vintage, I think. Okay. Great colors in those, but those are all eight and a half. They totally look different. That one pair of eight and a half look more like a nine, nine and a half. Anyway, we have a Karen Scott, and it's another eight and a half. It does not say narrow, but I think it should. It is leather straps, so these leather straps will stretch. So, comfort level, I always like leather better than plastic. Plastic always seems to cut, but these are kind of cool. All right. And they only have back straps and they only have about maybe a half an inch heel. It's kind of nice. Okay, back to the eights. All of these are eights, except they all look different. These look totally cool. If they were my size, I would not be showing you because I'd probably be buying them. Anyway, these are Adrienne Vittadini's, Vittadini's size eight. Never been worn. She tried them on. She tried to wear them and then realized they just couldn't fit. These are super smushy straps. These look so cool. These look cool. I like these. I love the color. You can never find blue. So this is like a denim blue. Okay. And these are Adrian Vittadini's. Probably like $14. We haven't priced them yet, but I will be doing that. These are aerosols. <clears throat> these are cute. Kind of a kitten heel, but it's a blocky kitten heel. So if I were to wear these, you'd hear me all around the shop go clunk, 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 clunk. My mother tried to teach me how to walk like a person who understands heels. Somehow I walk too heavy in my shoes. Um, so <clears throat> these have a cool piece in here that's suede, so you shouldn't slip too much. I doubt she wore these. Uh, toe strap, buckle, and this has a little stretch in it, so that helps. And the heel is probably an inch and a half, maybe two. And it's super cute. It's kind of a yellow, kind of, but more like celery yellow. Okay, those are cute too. They're aerosols. <clears throat> I love these sandals. Again, if I could fit into these, these would be great. Uh, these are by Transit, New York Transit. Uh, these are cute. If you were going to a summer wedding and you did not want to wear high heels, you could wear these because they're all beaded. So if you know any brides getting married who are size eight, they might like to have this pair of shoes for sometime during the night when they don't want to wear their heels anymore. This would be great. Anyway, you could slip these on. Uh, I'm going to say they're probably going to be like $12, maybe $10. Um, they have all their bead work on it. Again, she probably never wore them because they are not scuffed up on the bottom. So looking at $10 or $12, great wedding, great wedding shoe. Okay, hold on. I put these out of my reach. Ah, two more pair. My dining room table is huge. Okay, <clears throat> um, 
These we've never been worn because the tag's still on them. So these are soft, S-O-F-T, F-F-T. Um, comfy, 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 smushy, smushy, smushy. Great heel soles because they won't let you slip. It looks like cork, about a one inch heel with a little gold um, accent. These are size eight. They are a lot of fun. I would say we're probably gonna price these like at $12. Very cute for a brand new shoe. Very cute. Goes with all kinds of stuff. Great with denim, great with dresses. And the last pair, which will be tempting, but I don't seem to do toe pieces very well. Um, I like it when they go all the way around the toe, not just between. These are Mark Fishers, kind of like the little sporty heel. These say they're seven and a half. They're a large seven and a half, I think. It's kind of funky with this little faux twist lock. And they are animal print, which is a Miss Anne. Anne loves animal print, totally. We all look for it. Anyway, this is a sample of the shoes. I believe, and Anne could correct me, we have three huge tubs of shoes. Uh, 30 pair, 40 pair, all sandals, all sandals. So they'll be coming out. If this is your shoe size, you can buy online. Our website's yourothercloset.com. You can buy online. If you are local, we will deliver small items such as clothing or jewelry for free. We just organize it with you. We can ship to you. So Ms. Vicki, if you see something you like, we could ship something to you. Um, and I think it's a flat fee on my website and we will work it out. Um, otherwise, if it's a couch, we would help you find a mover because we do have three that we rec recommend. Okie dokie. Call us at 355-5979. That's area code 505 for those of you who are not in the state. If you have questions or you wanna find out about anything, I'm gonna show you a sample of the purses we just got in. I have three tubs. Some of them are a dark color, black, dark brown, bronze. I'm not gonna show you too many of those because that's not really a summer color, but they will be coming out with the fall stuff. With fall stuff, no joke people, even though it's only 105 today, ha! Huh? Uh, fall stuff's gonna be coming out in July. And that's because we're gonna do back to school the last week of July, before tax season, the tax-free weekend. We're gonna do it early. There's a lot of people asking about it, so we're just gonna get it out there. Anyway, purses. We have cute little funky purses. Now this is kind of velvet on the back, beaded on the front. It is beaded with, there's no set design, kind of like a filigree. It is super cute. Even the handle is um, beaded as well. And I don't think it's been used. Snap closure, kind of fun little inside. This is definitely not your go-to purse for every day. This is more for fun, okay? So that one's going out. Mom, Mom, I may need to talk to you about helping me fix this strap. That or I can't use it, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Anyway, this is what we do. We look through them all. One, we're trying to find that $100 bill if someone forgot. But I'm too honest and I'd break out in hives if I didn't give back the $100 bill. So that will be going, all money and stuff goes back. I even gave back things like pens that people left in, their uh, business cards, whatever. Okay, here's a cute red one. Red's hard to find. A good red one's hard to find. This is cool. I'm not quite sure who thought of this, but these straps attach, so it's a shoulder bag. It's kind of short for a shoulder bag, so if you're very long between shoulder and where you want it to hang, this might not be best for you, but it's kind of a solid construction, so not floppy like the last one. It's been in a closet too long, guys. Um, nice interior, and this one has an interesting, weird little hidden pocket that might be for your keys or maybe your lipstick. It's about that size for lipstick, I think. Zip closure, okay, but it's super pretty red. This would go great with a dress, um, jeans. It would transition from summer to fall really well. Great at Christmas time. Okay, this one's cool. And I did this one mostly for the fact that the inside's really cool, but it's a Kathy Van Zeelen. Anybody know Kathy Van Zeelen? They call it a vegan leather. Do you know what vegan leather is? It's fake leather or PVC. <laughs> but they get more money. It's kind of like being a realtor. Love everybody who's realtors, good friends are realtors, but you guys have the most creative terms. 
for naming things that would not be a plus or in the pro list when you're looking at houses. A lot of them say cute patio. Cute usually means tiny, um, you know, functional, multitasking, whatever. Okay, anyway, this one has really cute insides. I'd call it a hobo bag because it's not really constructed. It does have a lot of ruffling going on here, double straps. And Kathy Van Zeeland loves her bling. So there's a lot of bling here. Mom and I like this kind of thing when they have outside pockets. This one has a zippered outside pocket as well. To me, it's a little bulky. That's just my honest opinion, but it's a great color. And so what I was doing is showing you some of the lighter colors. This is more on the stone side, not white, not cream, but like a stone or a cement color, okay? Then we have one that is um, XOXO. And this is more of a tan, okay? Great summer bag. It has the faux um, lizard or faux snake in there. The faux snake also goes with the braid. And then it's got some, you know, little bling here. But this one is cavernous. It is huge. You can stuff all kinds of stuff in it. Okay, there's that one. Along the lines of tan, then we have Tiganello, which nice construction, a little bit wider, easier to get stuff in and out of. They always do great interiors as well. Um, divided, so you have a zipper here, plus the snap closure. These are also zippered. I mean, it, it goes on forever. You could hide all kinds of stuff in here and nobody would ever have a clue. Look at that, all these zippers. Um, outside pocket, another outside pocket, but it is tan and then it has the darker brown. Great with denim. Look good. It would be a great bag. Tiganello to me looks like a very expensive bag, but is totally within your price range. Hey Viola, how are you? Thanks for joining the party. Um, but this is a great bag. And then the last tan one we're going to show you is a Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain is totally cool leather bags okay it's in a great tan not too light so it doesn't get dirty it does have zipper compartments it has a snap compartment with all the extra pockets and then another zipper going. i like this person this person and i jive we have pockets love the pockets zipper pocket on the outside now the nice thing about this one it has an adjustable strap so if you unbuckled it it would be twice as long and it could become a crossbody. Okay, and the last one, I was thinking of you, Miss Teresa. It's a cat bag, and people in your family love cats. So this one is by a company called Pawsabilities. Pawsabilities, yes, P-A-W-S, Pawsabilities. It is just a cute little tote, but it has cats. Do you see those cats? Do you see those cute cats? It has cats, so it's supposed to look like decoupage, and it's supposed to look like quilted, but it's all one piece of material. The cool thing about this, vintage style handles, love these. And it does have some pockets on the inside, but it is also large. This might be fun <clears throat> for, let's say, a knitting bag as well. And um, this is just cute. I love the little boat, you know, accent. It's material. I think it would go well with all kinds of stuff. To me, like Vera Bradley, the quilted style, nice and all, but a little bit more on the pattern. This just has a little more personality or possibilities. Ah, ah. Okay, <clears throat> I know, Jim's not finding my humor fun. Anyway, yes, <clears throat> Miss Ann, and you don't have cats either. And you and I are both allergic to cats. And we totally forget to ask people that before we get to theirs. Yeah, a knitting bag. You could put all kinds of, it would be great for going to the library to get books too, because that would hold books in a water bottle probably. Anyway, that's what I'm showing you guys tonight. And my clock is telling me that I'm up. I really didn't think I have enough to talk to you about. So <clears throat> this last weekend, we did our first business booster. We highlighted two vendors that we have in the shop. Uh, unfortunately, one of them was ill, so she couldn't come in. The smoke in the air that we've had recently from the wildfires, which I hope are out soon or out now, um, killed everybody with allergies with me too. Not sure if you guys have noticed that my shirt blends in with my spots. I have hives all over. Anyway, <clears throat> um, 
we did our um, business booster. We had Chuck there with collectibles. He was in for a little while. We pulled them all out and showed everybody. We took some photos and posted those. Chuck's a great guy. We've had him for four years. He is so fun to work with. Can be a little curmudgeonly. No, grouchy. Just let's just be honest, a little grouchy. Anyway, he's cool. My shop vexes him because he has sold in all kinds of different stores, pawn shops, consignment stores, whatever. When he moved here, he thought he'd work on mine because mine was new. Has not figured out what the magic pill is. Um, and we haven't either. So we keep him jumping. But he's the one who's been providing all of our puzzles lately. Um, then we gave away some of the raffle stuff. Melissa did awesome. She collected all these raffle items from our shopping center because we were highlighting people in our shopping center. We have a lot of businesses in our shopping center that you guys probably don't know about. Um, <clears throat> So we gave away four of those prizes. We did a drawing and um, call everybody who won. Uh, we have more of those carried over, which is a $50 gift certificate to a restaurant. We've got a lot of other things, some books, a uh, tote, um, other things that we're giving away. Uh, that will be at the end of July. And that's when we're gonna do our big push for back to, we're gonna go back to cool, not necessarily back to school, because it's just, if you had kids and they're finally going back to school, you could probably go back to your full-time job as well. Um, if you are a teacher or an admin or anybody who works with the school system, you will be up to your eyeballs again in work once school opens. So we're gonna do a special sale for that. But all through July, we're gonna try and highlight outfits for going back to the office, going back to school, uh, just great outfits. That will be in our Instagram and our uh, Facebook and in my videos. So. We will have that, and hopefully I won't fry my phone again like I did on Monday. Uh, <laughs> um, July 4th and 5th, we are closed. It's Sunday and Monday, and that's the two days you call if you want an appointment, 505-355-5979. You don't come in. You don't stand in line. You don't get frantic. You don't have to be crazy about when you call. It's just within that 48 hours, if you call and leave a voicemail message, we will find you an appointment in July, August, or September, and it's all fall stuff. It will probably be fall for July and August, a little bit of September, but September's probably gonna be pushing winter. And that's just because a lot of retail stores, the big box stores, don't have oodles and noodles because they're having transportation problems. I, on the other hand, have oodles and noodles. So we're gonna start a little bit early. And then also we will be closed on the 6th, which is Tuesday. Haven't done that in a while because of COVID, didn't have to. Uh, we are going to take Monday for sure off and not work. Um, that's the 5th of July, and then the 6th of July, all four of us will be working our tissues off in the shop, but the shop will be closed to customers. It's the first Tuesday we've done that this year, but it may not be the last, but it is right now the first one. So, 4th and 5th, call in for an appointment. We're closed, also closed on the 6th of July. Then the end of July is our next business booster, and then we do one more in August. Yay! So, Give us a shout if you guys have anything special. We're still taking furniture pieces. We still have a lot of furniture pieces. I still want to strangle my parakeets, my husband's parakeets. Um, <clears throat> but that's about it. Thanks, guys, for checking in. I can't believe how many people were on here. Vicky, so cool that you piped in. Ryan's in the back. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, probably playing a video game. And uh, we might get your way, Vicky, sometime this fall. Just saying. Hope everybody stays cool. Try not to melt out there. And we will be back on Friday for a Focused Friday lunch video or again the following Monday. Thanks guys. Pass us on to other people, please. Let them know that we're out there. We appreciate your support and all local businesses appreciate your support because we're all still struggling and trying to catch up from 2020. Thanks, bye.